Hey, Tyler, uh, Thad Brown in Rochester. Can you go through kind of the, the timeline of events of how you avoided being a part of the, the COVID issue with the tight end group? And then obviously your reaction to having that, you know, hit kind of so close to home from a team point of view. Yeah. Um, so <clears throat> we went in for our induction to have our baby at about 5 a.m. Uh, she started getting, I think it's called Pitocin. Um, ended up being about a 24 hour labor. So that took its time. Uh, I mean, she's an absolute stud for going through what she went through. It was like, I can't say enough about how proud I am of her. Um, yeah. So she had the baby about 5.05 the next morning. Um, and coaches were, they were great about everything. And I got about 40 minutes of sleep, went in for practice. So I missed all the morning meetings. And I guess that's kind of when they were able to trace it and figure out what happened, made it for the walkthrough and the practice outside. And, uh, yeah, everything else. <laughs> you guys know how the rest shook out, but I was happy that uh, I was able to be active and be good for today. When, when did you find? So you found out you go in for labor Thursday morning. You come back for practice on Friday. When did you find out that there was a problem with the with the rest of your tight end? Uh, I think it was on Saturday, not until not until the next day. So I mean, I kind of figured found out when you guys did too. What was your reaction then when you heard about it? I mean, I was first worried about, obviously, the guys, but worried about myself and my daughter making sure, and my wife making sure that I was good, too. But when they said, when they're able to kind of contact Trace when it happened, I knew we were all good. So so already one day into the world, one hour into the world, your daughter already came up clutch. How proud are you of that? <laughs> oh, yeah. She's, she was born with the clutch gene. That's for sure. <laughs> all right, man. Congratulations on the daughter, for sure, and the win today. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yes. George Redney, Challenger Community News. Uh, Tyler, on, on today, did, did it seem like the Bills offense, you guys started going downfield a little bit more? You want, you took more today, uh, what you could give you, what the defense uh, was giving you today? Was that more of the game yeah, plan? I thought, yeah, taking what they gave us, I thought we were uh, chipping our way down the field. We just got to do a better job of not stalling out in the fringe. That was kind of, it seemed like our Achilles heel today, but we'll watch the tape and make sure we get it right. Uh, how did you feel with, with coming out there? Were you comfortable with the, the – with uh, obviously you were you weren't at, uh, with practice earlier. Congratulations on the uh, newborn. I and, appreciate and how, that. How, how, how do you get yourself mentally prepared to come back from being – having a, a, a God's gift of a newborn and, and, and being able to play? Yeah, obviously there's a lot going on, but I pride myself of being able to focus, like attacking what's in front of me and taking one day at a time. So – Obviously, there's a lot. Uh, there's a lot on my plate, but I just sometimes you gotta be able to just flush it and lock in on what you have going. So I was just proud that I was able to go out there and uh, make an impact today. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Have a great and congratulations on the win. Thank you. Hey, Tyler. Heather Prusak here with the CBS station here in Buffalo. Congratulations on your baby girl. Uh, just Thank what? You. What are you know? What are the emotions of? of having your first, your first child. Yeah. I mean, it was pretty surreal, especially after a uh, 24 hour labor. I, again, I can't say enough about my wife, how like impressive that was. And she crushed that whole experience. But uh, yeah, I mean, it was, it was awesome hearing her cry the first time I looked, my wife and I looked at each other and I just started bawling. I'm not going to lie. It was, it was awesome. It was surreal, but uh, yeah, it was awesome. Uh, how, how's mom doing? How's the baby? Do how's everyone doing? Uh, they're doing great. Uh, they're actually able to get home today, so I'm ready to get back and uh, spend some time with them. Uh, I think we have a checkup tomorrow morning, just regular pro normal checkup. So, yeah, everyone's doing well. I know you just kind of touched on it, you know, being able to compartmentalize when you've got to go to work and play a game. But just, um, you know, what what are the emotions like this this whirlwind of, you know, 48 hours or, you know, a couple days that you've had? Yeah, there's obviously a lot with the bringing my baby girl into the world, uh, a longer labor, and then finding out my boys, a lot of my buds ended up, or I guess one of them, Dawson, contracted it, but contact tracing the other guys. So you, you worry about them, make sure that their families and everyone are healthy. But uh, it's just there's a lot of things pulling you in different directions. But as a professional, I believe you got to be able to compartmentalize that. And sometimes easier said than done. But I think we, uh, as a unit, I think we did a good job today. Awesome. Thanks, Tyler. Congratulations once again to you and your wife. Thank you. Thanks, Tyler. We're all set. Awesome. Thank you. Yes.